the country of Spain. We have a user who lost Phineas and Far, Failure of Parents Season 1 to 8, Looney Tunes, SpongeBob SquarePants, Let's see. Um, Animaniacs, Red and Stimpy, Doug, Chuck, so we bear bears. You guys know the rest. It's called Indigo of the Hundred One Hundred. Hi, I'm on Hundred One Hundred. Hey guys, Indigo of the Hundred One Hundred once again. <laughs> and today I'm going to review on a very nostalgic show of my childhood. I really did enjoy that show when I was a kid. Back on Boeing. And on Cartoon Network, I think I think I did watch a Cartoon Network. I'm not sure. I did watch it on Boeing, and I did watch some episodes of it during the afternoon back in 2013 or 2014. And it was good. It was great. And that is the Power of Girls. It came in the year in 1998, the same year that Rainbow Rock Strikes Back came to the earth, came to London. So basically, what plot is? Oh come on! We all know the plot of the Power of Girls. We all seen the show. So basically what the plot is, it's about the first attorney making three little girls with sugar, spice, and free nights. But, but suddenly, it, it, accidentally, it, 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 and, pull, and, and ingredient that they are not allowed to be which is the kind of collapse, and boom, the pop of girls were born. And that's basically what, and they, like, and they're gonna save the world before bedtime, and that's basically what the plot is. Now, the first time Discovery Show was a long time ago. A long time ago, I first discovered Pop of Girls. A lot. No, I discovered Pop of Girls a long time ago, back in the late two thousands. And I discovered the show late two thousands, back in two thousand eight or two thousand nine. I don't remember. I remember, and I did watch some episodes of Pop of Girls when I was a little tyke. I did watch some episodes when I was a little tyke, and it was great. So. What do you think of Pop of Girls 1988? It's classic. It's an absolute classic from Cartoon Network. When this show first came out, it was a smash hit from Cartoon Network. And this became one of the Cartoon Network's most popular shows during the 1990s and early 2000s. Speaking of characters, let's talk about the characters. Blossom is definitely my favorite character in the Pop of Girls. He is, she is awesome, she is likable, she is great, and she is pretty, pretty cute. Bubble, Bubbles is is, super, is is one of the cutest Cartoon Network characters. She is pre-queuing that one. She is pre-queuing the Pop of Girls in this in this show. In this by twice the scene reboot, she's not that cute at all. But I'm planning to get. But what a coincidence! I actually have her as a plush toy, which I got that from Warner Bros. Pocket back in 2011, back in July 23rd. That's awesome. And we have I think in August 23rd. August 23rd. Yeah, August 23rd. And have Buttercup, which is pre, which is which is a badass. Buttercup is a badass. I love, I love Buttercup. She is basically, basically one of the most badass characters I have ever seen. Professor Antonium is a is an awesome character. She, he is a really likable character to the pop dad to the pop of ghost. I obviously really love it in the classic series, but on the reboot, he waste he. He is wasted in the reboot. Then you have the mayor. The mayor. He is hilarious in that show. He is awesome in the popular 1998. But in the Twice and Steam version, he 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 ruined him big time in the reboot. Then we have the then we have Miss Keen, the teacher Miss Keen, which is the teacher from the Pop of Girls from Townsville, Townsville, Kindle Garner. Then we have. Uh, Miss Bellum, Miss Melon, yeah, Miss Bellum, the mayor's wife, the man, the mayor's wife. She is awesome. I really love her. Then we, then we have the then we have the billions. Oh no, we can't forget the billions. Can I forget the billions? We have, we have Mojo Jojo. Mo Mojo Jojo, oh, he's definitely one of my favorite characters in Pop of Girls. He is awesome, and he's one of the greatest billions of. He's one of the greatest billions of all time, and it's one of my favorite cartoon billions in the early two thousands. In the early, in the early two thousands and nineties, he's of my favorite billion in the show, and then we'd have Fossey Lumpkins, which is 
Play by not in that Jim Cummings who also played Dark Pikmin in Pikmin in the new episode in the newer seasons because apparently the old boy, the actor who played Dark Pikmin called called John John Barley John John Barley the boys who did Dark Pikmin left the show released by Jim Cummings after the movie came out John John Johnny left the show after the movie came out and they saw Jake Cummings. Jake Cummings did a great job in Darby in the modern episodes. He's he's a great billion. Then we have him. We have him who is voiced by Notre Dame, Tom Kane, who also played Mr. Herman and Fossil Manchie Friends. And he also played and he also and he also play, played Lord Monkey Fist in Kim Possible. And he also played and he and he, he also played. And he also let's see. And he also played played Derek in Pikmin. <laughs> he him is awesome. Now, guys, and the part and, and we can't forget Rob Glass. The Rod Glass were awesome. The Rod Glass were great billions. They were awesome. Now. Let's get into a character that I don't like in the show, and that is Princess Morbox. Oh God, I despise Princess Morbox. I never liked her to begin with. I never liked that pedophile to begin with. Ever since I watched the show, I never liked this character to begin with. And she is played by Jennifer Hell. Jennifer Hell. The boys is played by Jennifer Hale. Yeah, Jennifer Hale. The boys who played the same actor who played some the same actor, the same actress who played number number eight fan num Fanny Fulbright from Coney Kitsnet, so which I hate the pedophile with a burning passion. She also and she also played Played Misty from Camp Laszlo, and she also played most Margaret's mom in regular show, and she also played played Gabby yeah, Max Stevenson in the Ducktales reboot. She's a great actress, but Princess Booker has got to be her worst performance that she has ever did. She, I didn't even like that character to begin with. The animation, the animation still holds up. The animation for not you show it still holds up to this day, and the animation is an absolute classic. And this is one of Craig McCracken's greatest jump next to Fossil Mansion Friends and Wonder Over Yonder and Kid Cosmic, the new Netflix show. Now I have one flaw, and that is the reboot. The reboot. Oh God, I'm yet to talk about the reboot. I can get to random reboot soon, and they also had an enemy called Pop of Girl C. I enjoyed that one when I was a kid, but I slightly prefer the classic Pop of Girls from 1998. If you guys are wondering, but it's but I didn't, at least the Pop of Girl C is better than the re twice the same reboot for Sinet. And the mo and the, this movie also got their own film by 2002. If you hear my thoughts on to film, it's an awesome movie. That movie is very awesome. That was a very awesome film. Awesome. I give the movie 10 out of 10. Amazing movie masterpiece. And, and let's talk about my favorite episode in the Pop of Girls. The best episode in the Pop of Girls. Um, sorry guys, I'm clicking. I'm, I'm, I'm searching for my left on the episode too often Pop of Girls. Back and saying guys. And the best episodes of the show is our Monkey See Doggy Do. What a great way to open up this TV show. Uh, this is how you open up this great series. A really great way to open up this great show. And then we have the boys are back in town. All up and the Ride Rock Boys. Great episode. And the best episode of the show is Power Noia. The season four finale, Paranoia. I gotta say, that is the best. Well, that's a freaking masterpiece of episode. That is the best Papa Corneille episode I've ever seen in my life. Paranoia from season four. That couldn't be the 
final episode of the TV show, if they ended up with Paranoia, it would be like the perfect four scenes that we got. But of course, the Chris Amino, Rod and Black Four pop of girls and make them suffer sets on a rot. Back and say, guys, I think Paranoia showing ended after that. If, if it ended at the Paranoia, it would like a perfect finale to the pop of girls. It would mean a great finale to a fantastic cartoon show. Overall, overall, guys, the Papa Granata Eight is an absolute classic. If you if you haven't seen the show yet, you you should watch it. You highly commend it. And Labor of Space is with me. It's also with me. And and I forgot to say you this. There, there was an episode when they referenced Star Wars. I bet Craig Megan has seen the original trilogy of Star Wars. Overall, guys, the Papa Girls get a course. Oh, you guys said you guess it 10 out of 10 it's an amazing brilliant pop-up masterpiece thank you guys for watching it, ah that's my real pop up girl 98 my next review is a rant on pop of girls 2016 coming tomorrow morning oh god wish me luck thank you guys for watching subscribe to my channel like and share your friends until next time and so once again the, the day is safe thanks to indigo alejandro 100 who review on this great show and it's next review is a rant on the reboot I, and of course the narrator guy is played by none than spongebob tom kenny that's right the tom kenny will play spongebob that's right Tom Kenny played Spongebob and the narrator too. Ah, oh, pretty cool thing. And, and so once again, the day you say thanks to Inigo 100 who reviewed this show. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Saving the world before bedtime.